hey everyone welcome to my video thank you so much for tuning in today I am going to be talking about the Huda Beauty resting boss face setting spray and the Tantor contour and bronzer cream I got mines in medium so really quickly I'm gonna read some notes that I took so the contour and bronzer cream retails for $30. It comes in five shades. It's fair, light, medium, tan, and rich. I'm going to insert a photo of how the shades look like. And the Huda Beauty Resty Boss Face retails for $32. Wait, did I say it retails for $30, the contour? And the, the setting spray retails for $32. All right, so really quickly, I'm just going to read you um, what it says about the setting spray. It says an extra hold setting spray for the ultimate matte and waterproof waterproof finish in a non aerosol spray this extra hold scented spray delivers a comfortable matte finish without leaving skin feeling dry true because i've had it on for a couple hours now and it's definitely i don't feel it dry whatsoever i don't even feel like i have anything in my face um it's inspired by a makeup pack used by some drag queens who set their hard work and elaborate face makeup with hairspray for lasting hold yeah so please stay tuned for the demo and then you can see a how long the spray lasts before my oils start peeking through and then you can see my first impression because yeah this is all first impression these products and you'll see my first impression when i spray the spray on and uh get hit with the scent and with the you'll see you'll see just stay tuned all right so this is from elf it's called the contouring brush from elf so this is what i'll be using all right so ah shit oopsie yeah let me go in with this I'm gonna use this better because I think it'll be easier. Because I'm right now I'm like so scared to put in that brush. I just don't want to ruin my little product. Yeah, this is way better. Okay. Yeah, so that works. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Morphe to blend out. Alright. Now I'm going this side. Um, I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush to try the nose. Alright, so I kind of fixed it, um, the contour, because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you all, like, I'm really not that great at contouring. But anyway, so I use the... I used this. I originally tried um, going in with this brush, um, but it didn't really work out for me. So I used the Jeffree Star brush and I went in and, you know, I wasn't scared. And then afterwards, I went in with some bronzer, some powder to just blend more. Right, so I'm going to be comparing the Huda Tantor. Um, again, I am using medium. I'm going to compare it to the Fenty one that I always use, which came in that um, tan pack. This is called Truffle. Okay, so here's um, Huda. I'm just going to go back in where I had um, swatched before. Here it is. And I'm just going to swatch it right here. Okay. So that's Huda. Here's Fenty Truffle, and then I'm going to, here is this one from Wet n Wild, it's called Contour Makeup Stick. It's all raggedy looking, even though I got it like a few months ago. Um, it's in the shade 806, Where's Walnut. So there you go. Wet n Wild is this one. Fenty and then the Huda one. Okay. And now I am going to clean this up. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I will be right back to 
spray myself with the um, resting boss spray and then we're gonna put it to the test see how long it lasts this is how it looks see I like it good stuff I'm not the best at contouring so it may look a little patchy but it's not I'm, I, I, I bet it's not the product it's just me when I blend I probably do it too much or I don't know what I do that it just starts coming off or so now um, I'm going to be spraying on the Huda Beauty um, setting spray it's called the resting boss base waterproof setting spray ultra matte finish oh all right so it comes like this that's like una etiqueta uh, a ticket like a seal it says here avoid applying directly on eyes and lips okay cool uh let's see if the directions after applying makeup hold eight inches away and miss face two to four times in a circular motion keep eyes and mouth closed avoid up applying directly on eyes and lips who to strict dampen beauty sponge with the formula and press into face to to seal in makeup for the day Ooh, it looks like hairspray all right let's see Two to four times circular motion, okay. Wait, how much was that? Ah! Oof, okay. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I did it too close because my eye kind of burst. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, it definitely has that scent um what is it called uh, the scent from um the same scent from the the powder and the foundation that flowery scent i actually don't mind it i actually really really like that scent um but yeah i think i did it a little too close because it was burning a little bit um it's definitely it's kind of strong like how do i say it it's not like when you spray the fix plus it's like it's just like water so it's like like i don't know this is kind of strong plus the the smell is very strong so i think it's like boom like i don't know it's, it's like whoa like that's i don't know <laughs> what word to say um but i really do like the smell i i don't mind it at all i love the the huda scent i know that was like one of the chief complaints one of the main complaints from the um, that i saw on the sephora um website was that people didn't like the um the scent um they said that it lingered and so forth and so on but hey everyone i am back for my final check-in and final thoughts quick final thoughts i put it on around 8 something i know it definitely was before 8 30 and now it is 12 29 ah whatever it's 12 29 um so yeah i've been wearing it the, the spray for only three hours but um the foundation and the contour and the concealer and all that i've been wearing it for longer i've had it for at least a good two hours before i finally put spray on on my face um so i want to say that's like at least over five hours i've been wearing um product on my face and it still looks good actually the only the like the dewiness that you see like the shininess that's actually highlighter so it's not oils so i'm gonna zoom in yeah no no because in <laughs> I was doubting what I was saying because in camera, like the monitor, I see it. I'm like, wait, is that oil? Like it does look oily, but no, it's not. It's it's the highlight. So everything still is holding up. My eyes still look crazy. Everything's still in place. The contour is still in place. But as of right now, I'm very impressed with the product. I, I actually really like it. The only thing I don't... Well, actually, let me go back a little bit so definitely there still is there is a scent um it's that floral scent that that they have in the foundation and in the the powder the the tantor does not have that scent um the scent is lingering i've had it on for three hours and i still smell it my husband smelled it as well he, however I liked everything about it I just didn't like when I first put it on and you'll see it in the video like it I don't know maybe I was too close maybe let's just say that I was too close but it was it, it's not like the fix plus the fix plus for instance that's the one that I'm gonna even the one from 
what is it called the all-nighter from urban decay like when you put it on it's like water it's like like yeah but this one i felt it was it wasn't like as refreshing as like putting on the the fix plus probably because of the scent probably it was just like woof like it just hit me kind of hard I, I think that's the best way to say it um so and it kind of did burn my eyes a little um but like i said maybe i was just too close but other than that it's great like i love it it's holding up i don't mind the scent i love the scent it was just a little too like whoa like when it hit me um but yeah that's the only thing i want to point out with that the contour um like i said before is good i mean there's some parts where it looks like it's missing but that's not the product's fault sometimes i feel like i just blend a little too much like that i just blend a little too much that it goes away type thing and sometimes i feel like it must be something with my skin because everywhere else i think in that part of my skin because i have acne spots i have a lot of acne marks there i have pimples there and like i have darkening there so i'm like i think it's just something's not right in that part of my skin that just the the what is it called contours never stick like even when i do the fenty or when i do powders it just doesn't it's always like little patchy parts and uh what else i think that's it overall i'm very satisfied i love it i love the product i'm definitely gonna be using it and um the spray as well now i know better i'm gonna hold it i'm gonna hold it farther out and um when i spray it on and yeah i'm really happy with it i'm very satisfied with it and yeah thank you so much for watching and you have a blessed rest of your day